Hi there, everybody, and welcome to the one and only Gisborne Oval, specifically Oval Number 1 in this week two of the 2024 Civil Project Solutions Premier Rugby. And today, home team, Enterprise Cars OBM, up against high school old boys, a club which is looking to rebuild its stocks, very famous club, club of history and of achievement. That's Earthwork Solutions High School Old Boys. Run through our team lists for you today. These teams, very well led as well. Captains in each case, blindside flanker Ricky Tedekia for OBM and for High School Old Boys, George Hanley Donnelly, a very good halfback. So for OBM, Lance Dixon, Elisa Munibola, Ratu Nairoroi, Jordan Kingy in the four. Just a little question over the number five. We'll confirm that a little while from now. Ricky Tedeki, Lapani Nadriva, Jokatama Siwa, halfback, Atu Naisa, Rokatuiwe, Riftan Brown Tedeki is the first five. Peter Vonowale, Somoni Rosari, Alipolo, Elijah, Tui Savu Savu, Bosca Tikasidre. Now he was outstanding last week. The reserves, Doug Beatty, Justin Allen, big guy back in the saddle. Kaisi Tuponga, Matani Siruwanga. Benito Barry has had to be replaced. Kilo Leach and uh, Kitty Vola. Match referees today, Joel Pierce. He'll be in the middle along with Joel. The assistant referees with him, we've got to Aaron Brown and Ray Young. So these are two assistant referees of uh, great experience here to help a young referee on the rise. Joel Pierce has emerged as one of the best refereeing prospects, certainly as a younger referee that Poverty Bay has produced in the last little while. Remember, it wasn't so long ago that Damien McPherson, these days the appointments officer for the referees, was regarded as a youngster on the rise. Went on to become a Heartland official OBM have uh, won the toss. They will kick off. That OBM team list again. Lance Dixon, Elisa, Tony Bornemai, Batu Nairoroi, Jordan Kingy will wear four. Tiko Vakasi, five. Ricky Tedekia, the blindside flanker, as I said before. Lapani Nadriva, Jokatama Siwa, Atu Naisa Rokatuiwe, halfback. Leaf Tan, Brown Tedekia, Peter Vonawale. And on the right wing, Laitia Atiriku, Bosca Tikasidru, or rather, our Bosca Tikasidre is the fullback today, Ali Polo at centre. So they've had to make a few changes. Doug Beatty, 16, Justin Allen, 17, Osei Asi, Tupunga, Ntani Serwanga, 
Kilo Leach, Austin Brown, 21, Kitty Vola. <coughs> Don't forget either that OBM began last weekend under the hammer. They conceded two early tries, two converted tries, and came back to lead high school old boys, 15-14 at half time. Four Earthwork Solutions high school old boys, Tavita Cavai, Xavier Kingy, Salisi Nuval, Pila Masila, Nelson Moran, Viliami Cavai, Celesio Paulusa, Zane Boyle, George Halley Donnelly, Brian Howard, Lance Dixon, Ricky Tedekia. Two awesome figures with OBM on the field of play now, the red, white, and blue against the blue and the whites. Well, the Peter Martin Cup currently held by Enterprise Cars OBM who uh, defended the Peter Martin Cup in a big way, round one last year. They will play from right to left of your screen, the Gisborne High School Old Boys Club from left to right. Match referee uh, in bright orange today is Joel Pierce. Joel Pierce with Aaron Brown and Royce Maynard. There's a sight to see. That is wonderful. Well, you know what, guys? That's made my day straight away. In the middle, Joel Pierce, who might have been shorter than six feet the last time that uh, <laughs> number two was here. Aaron Brown over there shaking hands with the guys to take the bench for high school old boys. And as I've said before, we're very lucky to have the referees that we do have. They're great characters and a lot of fun. <clears throat> OBM will kick off from right to left of your screen. Riftan Brown Tedekia wearing the 10. OBM to kick off for the Peter Martin Cup. A big winning scoreline last season in this uh, round one fixture. OBM, right foot kicking style around the corner. Ball bounces past the, was that the big guy uh, Hatton? Is he starting? Hatton's on the field. I know my Hatton's. First whistle, a way of high school old boys. So, first penalty awarded to high school old boys by referee Joel Pierce at 16 years of age. The youngest referee that I can remember controlling a premier fixture last weekend. He had high school old boys on the far side against Tupperwai. It was 55-20. 55-20, final score on tiny wide opening day. OBM surprising everyone, taking a 15-14 lead into half time on tiny wide opening day against East Coast Farm Vets YMP. A big game today between these two historic clubs. Referee Pierce well positioned, checking those offside lines. Ball thrown into play. OBM have the ball. So they have won the ball against the throw, but lost the ball forward after that. Referee Pierce, calm at the start. It's what you've got to be. Not going to make a big deal of it, but the truth is being a taller referee, you have a certain viewpoint. Hatton has uh, started this game here today for high school old boys. That's a change to what we told was going to happen in the blue and white front row. I was impressed with his enthusiasm last year, Hatton, and from what I've been told, continued to develop and improve. Great scrum here from the home team. And good pressure there on halfback George Halley Donnelly. And halfway now, still high school old boys ball. Halley Donnelly down the blind side, such as it is. OBM making their tackles first up. No score, and... Penalty award there by referee Pierce is for not releasing the ball on the ground. Big guy Nelson Moran. Dark haired up at the front. I love that happen. No score, Reef Tarn for touch. Far side, Norwester with us today, kicking up into it. Finds good touch. Those are the basics with it, without which you can't play rugby. That ability to find touch, you know, that ability to do the basic things, those core skills. Ratu Nairoroi, 
back of the, oh, that was uh, Jordan Kingy up there for it. And Kingy and OBM with a good line out ball for the first time. Oh, no, and the ball seemed to get away there from uh, Ratu Night Oroi. But hands like meat dishes, but lost the ball four. That's, well, good solid tackle. The ball, it just seemed to be getting further and further away. Ratu reaching out for the ball. It's like that last little chocolate frog in the shop. So, no score. Fords, this is what we call a feeling out process. Zane Boyle is the number eight for our high school old boys. Had to make changes. Brian Howard is the first five. Good scrum from OBM. Hallie Donnelly, a little tough there, that last pass. At second five today, we were told we were going to see uh, Cohen Loeffler with Ryland to White or Brown. There's Nelson Moran, big guy, incredible Hulk. Hulking run from uh, Moran. Evasive is George Haley Donnelly getting to halfway. As brave a player as you've ever seen. Penalty award here. So that arm has swung both ways from referee Pierce. Brian Howard, now he must find touch. Same way that, well, he's made sure of it, got that ball going horizontally on its axis. So finding touch, Reef Tan and uh, Brian Howard. I tell you what, looking at this, good, only OBM had their socks up these days. Didn't you used to have to have your socks up in the old days? <laughs> looking around, it was a time you had to tape them up. No score. <laughs> throw to come, high school old boys throw, of course, retained for the penalty. Far side, your loyal fans, your rugby people, your rugby folk. Arms crossed, looking grim. Your rugby folk. Well, thrown into play, nice catch. So high school old boys have their uh, line out working well. Tackle coming in. Jokatama Siwa, nice tackle from OBM Siwa. Making some hard yards there. That's Zane Boyle with a very good effort indeed. Attacking on the left, Aaron. High school old boys starting to run forward and straight and hard. George Halley Donnelly, that's a short, well, looked like a short pass through the dummy. OBM's defence holds. OBM holding strongly. There, that upper body strength, ball goes loose. Penalty here from referee Pierce. The first one potentially awarded within range. Look at Nelson Moran striding back on side. We're getting behind referee Pierce, more to the point. So... Going to be interesting. No, Howard's going to push again. You don't want to kick it dead here. Man, it's... I thought for a moment that he'd almost kicked it dead there, Howard. Remember, they've got the wind in the first half. Interesting kicking style, actually. Lance Dixon threatening mayhem there. In front of the line out for OBM. High school old boys throw. A lot of plays centred around halfway mark early in the game. Good stuff from high school old boys. Their line out working well here. At the start of the game, they needed their set piece to be functional. At Zane Boyle, does he get there? Okay, is short. Referee Pierce in good position. OBM defending stoutly, defending manfully. OBM holding high school old boys here. High school old boys make a lot of play early in the game. Won a couple of line outs. Can't play the game if you don't have the ball and OBM with grim determination, have hung on and turned him back. He's actually got the hand up there. Well, you know what? That's not what I expected. I thought the way that the hand was raised, pointing in the OBM's direction, a word of a try there from uh, referee Pierce. I think, am I right in thinking that hand needs to go straight up? Anyway, try has been awarded for 5-0. Brian Howard now to take conversion attempt. Impossible from this distance to tell you who scored that. Norwester today. OBM kicked off. High school old boys draw first blood. They needed to start well. And their line out has looked pretty good. OBM scrum has looked as impressive. So OBM scrummaging strongly early and the line out working for high school old boys. Before you can do anything else, you need those two things to work. The scrum and the line out, low and flat. Not there from uh, Brian Howard. 
who normally is a fair goal kicker. 5 0 at the moment. Earthworks High School Old Boys here on Rangai Live over Enterprise Cars OBM. Joel Pierce, his second premier appointment for the season. Young man with a bright future. He's a character too, Joel. He can take a laugh, does his best. That's what we want. We want people out there who can, who will give of their best, which is what these guys do every single week. Okay, high arcing restart. It's uh, out on the full. Come back to halfway, and Royce Maynard, I remind you, is over there on the far side, wearing some gaudy sort of Australian gear, I would think. Doesn't look like the Poverty Bay Orange he was wearing the last time he was home. So back to halfway, centre ground, Lance Dixon. <laughs> Ratu Nadoroi. Powerful player, the powerhouse there in number one. Jordan behind him. Hatton up front. Hatton versus Nairoroi. <laughs> so at the moment, 5 0, no conversion on the try. Scored by High School Obboys in the left corner. This is key area for OBM. Traditionally a strong scrummaging side. They've got more muscle to come to with the likes of uh, Justin Allen get out there later on. He'll show you how to do it. Moment 5-0. High school old boys. Look at Hatton. That's uh, Hatton on this side, the prop for high school old boys. And they are putting on a lot of pressure up front. It's going to be a tough day up front. So Hatton there wearing the one, which would suggest to me he's in for Tavita Cavai, with Salisi Nirval on the tight end side. Hatton is wearing the one. <clears throat> Brian Howard. So he's made a steady start. One shot a goal taken so far. That one shot unsuccessful. Tough from the sideline. Jordan Kingy, a good line out forward for OBM. Be interesting to see what he can do here. Put a little bit of pressure on the throw from high school old boys. Xavier Kingy, the uh, hooker. That line out. Uh, well, I'm not quite sure what he's ruled happened there. Balking, I suppose. Scrum, OBM up for the scrum, and they have been very good at the set scrum. They're asking for it again. Beautiful day here. We were told the weather was going to be trash, but that hasn't ended up happening. Weather here, very good. Sparse crowd at the moment, but it'll build up. Some of the people, the guys I can see on the far side, they've been around for decades, upon decades, and they love their high school old boys theme. Very loyal. What they used to call the thin blue line in the old days at Rugby Park on the hill. Okay. Strong stuff, Siwa off the back, got over the gainer, hard to stop him. Mapani Nadreva is the open side flanker wearing the seven. Okay, OBM now with ball in hand, Tika Cedro there, slips a man. Good run there. Tika Cedro shifted from the wing to full back for this game, Jordan Kingy. That's good play. Good play by Kingy. Model play by the OBM tight forward. Ball lost there. Kingy had done well. Hatton, hands on head. Sometimes it's not a bad thing to shove the ball up your jumper, as they say. Up the jersey, make hard meters. Ratu Nairodoi versus Hatton on the side. This is an interesting contest. The props on this side. And uh, Elisa Talibulimai in the middle of the OBM front row against Xavier Kingi. The scrum is taking a long time to set, to be honest. George Haley Donnelly. Two, two, 
Atu Naisa Rokatuiwe on George Haley Donnelly with a cutout pass. OBM having to recover. Okay. And high school old boys, Fortune has favoured the Brave here. Their second try got a good bounce, but some skillful play in the midfield. Boot to ball and a chase equal to it. So the first two tries and the second lot of points. Here the high school old boys leading now 10-0. A very good chase on the kick. Appeared to be Ryland to Wairua Brown. Boot to ball and he's very skillful. And I can tell you something else. That's intelligent play from high school old boys. Well organised and purposeful. OBM strong at the scrum, but they were very quick. Get that ball, go left. So they lead at the moment, 10-0. Mark Naden out there, trainer with the, uh, the floppy hat, the jandals, and the drink bottle. Joel Pearce. So a couple of tries. No arguments about either of these tries. No what-ifs. Checking the breeze there. Ten nil. High school old boys have made the most of the possession they've had early in the game. Leading by ten to nil. This for twelve nil. Don't forget it was okay. Converted there by Brian Howard. This is very much the way that the tiny wide opening day fixture between OBM and YMP began. OBM conceding uh, two tries at the start. Both of those were converted in that case. In this case, only the second try has been converted. The score is 12 to nil. Earthworks, Solutions, High School Old Boys have made a good start. It has been some time since they've had a win over Enterprise Cars OBM. One thing they couldn't afford to do was to start badly. We started playing there. Riftan said it here with a restart. That's a wonderful tackle. Marvellous tackle there by Reef Tan, Brown Teddy Kia, a model tackle. In this day and age, oh, here's Hatton, is it? Here's Hatton, rolls into contact. Hatton's one of my favourites, to be honest, I can't really tell you why. Ball goes loose. High school old boys awarded the penalty. What a magnificent tackle by Reef Tan, Brown Teddy Kia. Chase up on his own kick. To be honest, got to make the point, it's very hard in this modern age to make a tackle without somebody grumbling about it, but that was one. That was without a doubt the tackle of the match so far. Brian Howard is gun for touch. Aaron Brown over on the far side, known as Monster in his cricket playing days. For high school old boys, big red fearsome pace bowler indeed. Jacob Hatton. He's propping well. Been put under pressure. By Knight Odoi, the line out is good from high school old boys, that you know. Here now is Howard, letting it breathe, Ryland to Wairua Brown, strong, great play, great play by Ryland to Wairua Brown. And that was loose, and here's our ticker Sidre making strong metres, so OBM picking up a loose pass, and now with ball in hand, starting to grind towards halfway, after Ryland to Wairua Brown, it looked threatening. Near halfway, OBM, no support, no support, unfortunately. Good effort there from uh, Solomoni Rosari. He's a match winner too on his day. OBM now with ball in hand and momentum as well. OBM with momentum. No, 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 Hatton. Is he okay? Was he knocked out? I thought he might have been knocked out. He's not looking good. Hatton's down, mouthful of dirt, grass, whatever. Man, did he go down hard. Ricky Tedek here. That was uh, the big guy, Night Odoi v Hatton, or Hatton v versus Night Odoi. Smog monster meets Godzilla. OBM with ball in hand, Lance Dixon. Lance Dixon, score is at 12-0 at the moment, two tries of conversion. Reef Tan to Wairua Brown, Cohen Loeffler, I think they made the tackle. Offside play, the ruling there. They tapped and ran, Ricky Tedek here. He does this every year. He is so dangerous from there. Maybe no player is quicker off the mark. And nobody, the more consistent a scorer of opportunist tries. 
That Ricky Tinnick here of IBM, a marvelous try. It's very simple. The referee blows the whistle, the penalty is awarded, you've got to get back it. If you don't, Ricky Tedek here, I can get around you, I can get by you, I can fly past you. That's exactly what he did. Teams, they, you know, opposition teams, they gnash and curse, but he was definitely on side, and they just couldn't recover close to the, uh, close to the post. So right next to the post, Ricky Tedek is an expert at doing that. The OBM captain. Look at Royce Maynard over there. Servant of rugby, that's what he is. Reef Tan, who made the best, one of the best tackles I've ever seen, to be honest. That tremendous tackle earlier. That, the conversion attempt, lot of height. Look at the wind trying to push it back. Okay. So 12-7 the score now. And a five-point game. Ricky Tedekia, you just knew it, didn't you? You could smell it. As soon as the penalty was awarded, that close to the posts. Unreal. 12-7. Five-point game. OBM hit back, having conceded the first two tries of the match. Joel Pierce. Tall youngster with the whistle. Restart there. Matty Prophet. Here now is uh, Tika Cedre. Tika Cedre. Fantastic tackle there. That's a magnificent tackle too by Silicio Palusa. Silicio Palusa with a fantastic tackle there for high school old boys. Palusa. Seen a couple of extremely good, clean, hard, fair tackles. Touch there by Brian Howard. Look more assured on the strike that time. Enjoying this great rugby that we're seeing. 12 points to seven, a five point game. Look at that Nelson Moran there, the big lock for high school old boys. He is enormous. Throw to come high school old boys. George Halley Donnelly, inspirational captain leader of men. Looked up at Nelson Moran with a stern look on his face. All thrown in. High school old boys have it. Halley Donnelly into the midfield. Penalty advantage here for high school old boys who lead by five points. OBM. Up there was Asiwa with the tackle. Nothing wrong with the tackle, but he had been playing advantage earlier. Offside is the ruling there from referee Pearson. No one's arguing with that. 12 points to seven at the moment. This five-point lead. A lot's happened already. they played a lot of rugby. Good, solid rugby. Nothing flashy. There's been no need. Fine touch. Okay, Mark Naden. Hey, look. Trainer Mark Naden over there preparing to run from one side to the other with a T. High school old boys feeling that they can break them here. They want to try and break OBM here. OBM, they've got a lot of fighting spirit. Early days. But the line-out has worked pretty well for our high school old boys. That had pleased them. Moran in the middle of the line-out. Jumping at five. Okay, and again, more good ball. I believe that was a Palusa. up. That's just really what you don't want if you're high school old boys. They've already proven that they can win good line-out ball, but to not win the ball in the right corner on attack, Already seen the skills, the flair of these players. Love watching Ryland. Twelve points to seven. Five point game, set scrum. OBM Reef Tarn. Front of well, close to their own post, not quite in front of their own posts. Certainly deep in their own 22, trailing by five points. And they have the kick charged. OBM, they have the ball they've recovered. Some way, somehow, but still at the wrong end and needing, needing desperately to find the safety of touch. Okay, ruling there, I believe, is accidental offside. It crossed over there. Shepard. 
as they say. So at the moment, 12 to 7. Five point game. An excellent game of rugby, shaping up to be a thriller. Certainly is. Is this Prophet? Coming in, going to ground. Go to ground in that situation as fullback. You don't want to turn it over. High school old boys. High school old boys now win for their third try. So three tries to one. And 17 points to seven. A 10 point gap now. 17 points to seven. A 10 point gap. One thing's for sure. High school old boys who scored the first two tries have not rested on their laurels here. A moment ago, they had a line-out throw, remember, in the right corner on attack. The throw was off, got a scrum, but they put good pressure on OBM at the scrum. No matter how good your scrum is, and we talked about OBM's forward pack scrummaging very well early in the game, even so, to be having to uh, hold the opposition in the corner on your own goal line, it's not easy to do. Brian Howard, his team up by 10 points, the score... 17 to 7, week two, round one, Civil Project Solutions Premier Rugby. Wonderful sponsorship. Their support of rugby. Their support of the national game here, our senior competitions. Brian Howard, 19 points to 7, or rather 17 to 7. 17 to 7, this would make it 19. Okay. Ball off the tee, and it's there for 19 points to seven. 12 point lead. High school old boys knowing that they've got a lot that they have to get done in the first half. They have succeeded so far in playing the majority of the game in OBM territory. That's what you have to do. You're going to make history, you're going to change history. So, one missed kick at goal, the first one from Brian Howard. Other than that, he's been worth his weight in gold. Reef Tarn, Brown Tedekir has impressed me too. His defence restarts, now restart a play. Coming here from uh, Tekasidre, where's the uh, 15? Boot to ball. Okay, call made by uh, Zane Boyle, comes off the right foot, makes good ground, and he's an unobtrusive player, but a quiet achiever. Zane Boyle, okay, and the big guy might have looked up there, lost it four. That's pretty cut and dried. Rugby is one of those games, there can be very small margins, and people will ooh and ah about was it four. There's no doubt about that. It's pretty straightforward. Lost four there, 19 points to seven, 12 point game, and perfect conditions on a really good looking Gisborne Oval ground. Don't know who it is that does that, whether it's rec services or not, a labour of love. And it doesn't look too bad at all. Okay, here's our reef tarn. Ball in hand. Ball lost forward. On in a 21 now, Austin Brown, who didn't start. Call May there. Joel Pierce. It's been pretty accurate so far. Generally, at ground level here, you get a sense of whether or not players and spectators are happy with the performance of a referee. But you don't hear outraged howls and howls of anguish down here. They're pretty, they're overall, they're pretty happy. Don't worry, you'll know it if they're not. So 19 points to seven. <coughs> Xavier Kingy. Pila Masila wears the four. Silicio Palusa. Throw to come. Impressive the way that this has worked so far. For the visitors, they are the visiting team, high school old boys. Home game for OBM. That line out was scrappy. That's the first one, or perhaps the second one that they've lost, but generally they've been good in that area. OBM with the ball in the midfield, holding on to the ball. Kind of ground. Okay, having to make some hard meters here, and at some stage it's got to happen. Wow, and some big shoulders. Got to run hard, got to run straight. So OBM to ground. That was Tekasidro, we're the 15. Okay, that's Siwa. Away to our Atanaisa uh, Rokotuiwe. OBM ranging out on that. Uh, what? Well, what? Okay, the pass has been ruled forward by Joel Pierce. And again, 
players can only ask of you as a referee that you're in position to make that call. And he was right there. He was right on it. 19 points to seven. Four tries in the game, three to one. High school old boys here at the Gisborne Oval. See that plaque out the front, Harold Everett Maud, the Gisborne Oval. One of our historic grounds. Close by, of course, the Victoria Domain, otherwise known as the Netball Courts. They used to play first 15 rugby there a very long time ago. Hadn't been concreted, obviously. Ryland to Wairua Brown, so powerful like his father, doesn't feel pain. Chris Brown, one of the roughest, toughest guys ever played here on a rugby ground or a rugby league field. Ball goes loose, and that, that's a pretty terrible looking situation over there. Jack Willock over there. Every now and then you need some messy rugby, some scrappy rugby, that was it. So 19 points to seven, 12 point game. And Joel Pierce, OBM scrum. Sometimes you know you're excited, you feel as if things are running your way, but you've still got to watch the ball into the hands, catch the ball, A to B, B to C, C to D. Can't be jumping that to get to D. Atu nice Rokotuiwe, good service. That's a good pass. Reeftan has it. Reeftan short ball, strong stuff here from OBM. Good support playing, George Hanley Donnelly. He fall on the ball, the ball went forward. High school old boys have the ball, off a turnover. Midfield, around about uh, six metres into OBM territory going left. Zane Boyle got the pass away. OBM having to tackle some of these big guys, these concrete mixes for high school old boys. Powerful over the advantage line. Playing impressively the away team at the moment. Up by 12 points. Both teams have shown some flair. High school old boys have had the lion's share of possession. The greater share of possession of the ball. Aaron Brown far side. Downing the back lines on his side to stay on side and exactly where that uh, offside line is. Jacob Hatton over here who took a fearful battering earlier. I think it was Knight Odoi went straight at him and knocked him into the middle of next week. But Hatton is up and running again. Player safety is huge but you don't need people running out there every five minutes for something that's obviously in no way serious. Good stuff here, OBM, OBM. Oh, great hands. OBM, good hands there. Helps when you've got big hands. Here's Ricky Tedek here. Had a go at him there. Really did. That was a Scott Hatwell had a crack at him. Here's Jordan Kingy running hard, running straight. Taking it like a man, right up to the line there. Good stuff, good rugby. OBM behind the advantage line, but under advantage. Going backwards there, OBM, but of course he is applying advantage. Now the first person to be honest that high school old boys have to be watching out for here is Ricky Tedekia because as is already shown today, take your eye off him at your peril. Joel Pierce with the inquiry. Touch, touch. I've been getting a, li a little bit of stick lately for these misprints. It is Joel Pierce. Repeat, Pierce, not Pearson, Pierce. Moment 19 points to seven. 12 point game. That night, O'Roy. He is a big guy and aggressive and good on him. You got to use what God gave you. Player down. That Brendan Hart out there, the Silver Fox. Brendan Hart, the Poverty Bay man. And again, one of the great characters. Okay, balls loose, went forward off uh, OBM. Here's some of the fans on that side, rather hoarse. It's always what's happening when your voice breaks. Moment 19 points to seven, 12 point game. They've made a good start here, high school old boys. 
going to say that Wayne Ince will be floating around. He'll be going up and down the sideline, watching on. Marching. Sure steady stride of victory. So they might think. Aaron Brown side, that far side, here at the Gisborne Oval. Scrum to pack. High school old boys to feed the scrum. George Haley Donnelly, so far as uh, showcased his quickness and as always, his immense bravery. Okay, penalty award there from our referee Pierce. I enjoy some of his signals. Sometimes, every now and then, there's a signal I'm not quite sure of. Brings to mind one of my all-time favorite referees is a guy called Colin Shanks, who's a great character. I wasn't always entirely sure of some of those either. Aaron Brown. Game has been played in a very good spirit. Doesn't surprise me. These are two teams which, you know, these guys know what rugby is all about. I must admit the modern line out is the mystery to me. Guys don't seem to be, in my time, they were two very straight lines. And now they come from, well, that's what happens when they're a metre apart. Throw to come. Okay, excellent work at the line out again. And their line out is very good indeed, high school old boys. Very good, Haley Donnelly, gonna release these guys, release the beast. Tackle there made by uh, Siwa. OBM, lost the ball forward. OBM, scrum. Just pouring there on the ground, referee uh, Pierce made a little mark. That dainty toe. Discipline so far by these teams has been very good too. No yellow cards have been issued, certainly no red ones. OBM scrum. An excellent contest. Atu Naisa Rokatuiwe about to feed the scrum. Strong scrum platform. Hey, somebody kicked it forward. They weren't supposed to do that. OBM getting the ball eventually. Lepani and Driva, the open side in the seven. And they have pace. Give these guys a chance to run. We haven't seen OBM's guys run. Not run free. When they run free, you'll know it. Here now is Dixon. Lance Dixon. Lance Dixon runs it up. Look at him bouncing there. He was bouncing along. Lance Dixon was bouncing along. And a proving smack on the butt from Matu Naisa Rokatuiwe. See what Dixon did, he was... That was amazing, that was almost historic. Okay, scrum. Nineteen points to seven. 19 points to seven, 12 point game. OBM have got some people out here that can run like the wind. And high school long boys wisely have shut them down as soon as possible. Here's our Rokatuiwe now with a long pass and lost forward there, unfortunately. Elatia Bateliku. He'll get another chance. Chance is a little way off at the moment. High school old boys with this 19 to seven score line, the 12 point lead. For the first time, you can hear the crowd on the far side. Sheer disgust, that's what you can hear over there. People here are very passionate about their rugby. But the crowd behaviour this season so far has been excellent two weeks in. These are people who know the game inside and out. And they keep it all in perspective. 19 points to seven. 19-7, Aaron Brown. <laughs> 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 
19-7, 12 point game. So OBM have fought back, okay, now it's on the OBM side. They might have been wondering, okay, that's a hooker, Talabulimai, good play, halfway. And here come OBM with the ball in hand. Some of these guys are so powerful, imagine the upper body strength is unreal. Here's uh, Rokatuiwe, that's Reef Tan, nice pass. Oh, look at that pass, how about that pass? I, that's banana, I haven't seen that for a long time. OBM there with ball on the ground. They've laid the egg. Okay, ruling is clear from referee Pierce. Advantage offside, said referee Pierce. Look at them kicking out of tackles here. OBM, that tremendous strength, I said, with ball in hand. Ball in hand, now ball to f oh, that's a ruck. And here is a Reef Tan. Reef Tan was going to kick it. Now he's going to run it. Reef Tan holds on to the ball. OBM with the ball in hand. Still, Reef Tan there. Well, high school old boys were on side. Their advantage, OBM's advantage. Did it run out or not? Well, look at these two big boppers over here. Oh, third bopper. Tell you what. Well, some big guys. Nelson Moran in there immediately. I tell you what, some big guys, they came together. Guys thrown to earth. Nelson Moran, these are big people. Haven't seen any fists fly. It is, as Wild once said, much ado about nothing. So, at the moment, 19 points to 7, a 12-point game. Referee Pierce, I've never seen the young man have a serious word. So, for the first time here, referee uh, Pierce, serious word with the captains. George Haley Donnelly and Ricky Tedekia. Referee Pierce. Making his feelings known. He's run a tight ship so far. He's had a good game, young referee Pierce. Okay, he keeps uh, everybody on the field. Has he blown his whistle yet? Yes, yeah. look, there he blew his whistle. I was waiting for the whistle, actually. So, 19 points to seven, 12 point game. I thought it was gonna get hairy there for a minute. Civil Project Solutions Premier Rugby Week Two, Round One. 19 points to 7, 12 point game. I'm enjoying myself. 19 points to 7. What referee Pierce did in that situation was to diffuse the situation, to de escalate it. Is that what they say? 19 points to 7. Seen really good rugby, good quality rugby. Hard but fair. Okay, OBM ball, Ricky Tedekir close to the line. Close to the line is dangerous. Ricky Tedekir close to the line. Holds the ball up. Night Odoi, Night Odoi. I thought he got there. He must have been close. He must have been very, very close. Night Odoi try. OBM there in the end. OBM second try. So now 19 points to 12. They have come up with it. That's unbelievable. You know, that's the second time. That wasn't, strictly speaking, a tap kick of a penalty, anything like that. But boy, at that distance, you got, there are some people that you cannot take your eyes off. It was 19 to 7 for a long time. Now 19 to 12, with there being every possibility of it being 19 14 after this. Now, hearts were in mouths a few minutes ago because everybody was wondering whether or not. They were going to keep 30 people on the pitch. They did. Referee Pierce said what he needed to say. 19 points to 12. This will be 19 points to 14 if the kick at goal, if the attempt is successful. Reef Tan Brown Tedek here, who has impressed me in general play. Once or twice he's run at the line, held onto the ball wisely. Seems to have a full range of options. 19 points to 12, this for 19-14, it would be a five point spread if he makes it. 19-12, he has it online. 19-14, five point game. 19 to 14, a five point game at the halftime break. 19 to 14 here on Rangai with OBM scoring the last try of the first half. 19 to 14, five point game. High school old boys with the first two tries of the match. And it's been very good rugby.
good to see you. Keep control. Keep control for this. Well, this is an interesting game. I got the impression, 19 to 14. I got the impression that High School Old Boys really had to make the most of that first half. They did. They got a lead. And they did until their last whistle. Yeah. Aren't you, aren't you happier, though, huh? going into the game at halftime with like a 10 point lead or a trick? You know, you need to be up. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm impressed by the young guy. Especially over here, he's pretty calm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's very visible. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good lad. Was having a good game, I wouldn't have any idea. No, Tell you what, I feel a lot better this week. Last week there was something wrong with the chair that I had, the feet sunk into the mud. It was very tough. Here's Matt Prophet. 19 points to 14. That 12 point gap sliced to five. Profit. Left foot restart. I thought his shoe was going to fall off there for a second. Ball has bounced out. That's fine by OBM. They'll throw the ball into play. No touch. No OBM touch. Far side. High school old boys fandom. Over on that far side. Throw to come. OBM's Kingy. Where is he? Okay, nice stuff. 
OBM line out. Here's uh, Ricky Tedekia getting, well, here's Tedekia here now. And makes again good ground. He makes very, very good ground consistently. Boot the ball there. Oh, takes a, a second bounce. You've got to be careful. You can let that happen near halfway. Ryland to Wairua Brown, who is fearless. Went past Reef Town Brown Tedekia. Some good play. OBM picking up their game in defence. Ball might have been played on the ground, we thought. Advantage now, high school old boys. High school old boys, Howard away to clear. Got the pass away. Hear a big grunt over there. Some pretty earthy rugby. Guys are squealing. Well, that, okay, grabbed and dragged it back in. And referee Pierce can't pull the wool over his eyes. Impressed by referee Pierce here, young Joel. That's all you want to see from a referee or a player is that improvement every week. That's what you see. A lot of people talk about the perfect performance. There is no perfect performance. But people are improving every week, which is all you're after. Moment, 19 points to 14, a five-point game. A good game of rugby. Guys want to play good rugby. Look at Lance Dixon there with some skin. Some sting there, I think, there. The big guy was that Puito. Throw to come. Okay, Zane Boyle. Not hands to it, but the throw wasn't straight. Nelson Moran. A quizzical expression on the face of Nelson Moran. At the moment, 19 points to 15. Or rather, 14. 19 to 14. 19 to 14. Two converted tries. A too nice a Rokatui way. Feed that uh, scrum. Okay, Reftan has it, holds it up. Got some good skills. OBM encountering stern resistance there in the midfield. Some hard tackling. They want the ball. Brian Howard has it. Zane Boyle got it away a moment ago. Ryland to Wairua Brown. OBM there with very good defence. They recognise the constant danger he represents. Moment, 19 points to 14. Five points in it. Five-point game. Forget that. That was the half-time score. 19 to 14. Five-point game. Ball has become static. Penalty here. From referee Pierce in the last little while has cast a frown in OBM's direction. That hooker, that Xavier, he is a, a big lad. Mind you, big is a relative too. Aaron Brown, far side, Royce Maynard, back in action and back in rugby and back in Poverty Bay rugby, which is a good thing. It's been very missed, very much missed. On this side, Jack Willock, the high school old boys. High school old boys forwards. Good set, well organised. They've been well organised up front. Line out was good. OBM scrum was very good in the first half. Early stage of second half. Too early to tell how things will pan out at the set scrum here in the second half. Here's a Tawaro, a beautiful pass. OBM's tackling is sure. Okay, they swing it to Howard. Howard back to Profit. Profit bumps away from a would-be tackler. Now around about five metres out from the goal line and five metres wide of the posts. They press right again, high school old boys. Okay, OBM have got to make the tackle here. Hold them up on the line or at least get underneath them. High school old boys, very, very close to scoring. High school old boys, stay patient. You've got to be patient. Leading at the moment, 19 points to 14, a five-point game. And still OBM hold them. Still OBM hold on. Under advantage, high school old boys have it. Can they crack them here? OBM, good tackling right on the line. High school old boys probing, digging. Okay, that's a second whistle blast there from referee Pierce. And uh, is he here reaching for a card here, referee Pierce? He is uh, having a look at a player. 
Well, referee Pierce wants a word. Ricky Tedekia, I don't see a card. I have just seen one. Ali Polo, is it? Okay, so a card has been issued by referee Pierce. Okay, high school old boys try and make the most of this situation. Remember now it's 15 on 14. They're right on the goal line near the left touch line. They lost the ball forward there, high school old boys, so they have the numbers advantage. But they'd probably be a little bit disappointed with the way that ended up. Ball going forward. OBM a yellow card. Referee Pierce. Game has been played in a good spirit so far, but I suppose if it's got to be issued, Netani Sidawanga, strong player indeed. The 19. So 19 to 14 at the moment, a five point game. Unable to push across. Ricky Tedekia. Got to admire the way he handles these situations, Tedekia. He doesn't grizzle, doesn't shake his head. And only play what's in front of you, that's what you've got to do. <coughs> so Austin Brown out of here in 21. OBM with a relieving penalty. Man, they had to fight there. Save a try on the goal line. OBM making ground over the gain line. This is good play. Got themselves some breathing space. A little more room. Just a little more room, mind you. Everybody's on side. Reef Tarn. There with the right foot. Okay, Jack Willock does well. Jack Willock. Jack Willock. Trying to get around his man, and he couldn't quite get by. Elaitia Bataliku. Bataliku with a good tackle on Jack Willock. Here now is uh, Zane Boyle. <coughs> High school old boys, and that was Xavier Kingy, who's had a good game. That's Justin Allen off the top rope, landing on top there of Xavier Kingy. Brian Howard swings the pass. Ryland to Wairua Brown, nice weight on that pass to Profit. Profit, one more pass out wide on the right. So High School Old Boys still have a five point lead, 19 points to 14. OBM with a converted try shortly before the halftime break. Zane Boyle has had a very strong game. 19 points to 14, five point game. Got to stay in control, you want to stay on top. High school old boys retain possession. Their ball retention's been pretty good. Okay. Powerful stuff from their forward pack. Their forwards have covered themselves in glory today. Finley now, high school old boys. <clears throat> Well, referee Pierce out there. You can keep some of the people happy all of the time. You can keep all of the people happy some of the time, but you can never keep all of the people happy all of the time. Penalty award. 19 points to 14. This five-point game for the Peter Martin Cup. Embarrassed man. Peter Martin finds touch. Aaron Brown, he was going to run past the, the point at which the ball went out. So excited to have a little run down the sideline. These referees, all of the fans were very excited in the lead up to this game. It's great to have Saturday Rugby in these perfect conditions, really ideal conditions for the national game. 19 points to 14. Aaron Brown, assistant referee on that sideline. High school old boy Xavier Kingy, the line out has been a strength of theirs. But I can remember three occasions on which the ball was not thrown in straight. Justin Allen out there will help, not just in terms of scrummaging, but also his work at the line out. Powerful guy and carries the ball very powerfully. 
I can remember Justin and his brother Jody as youngsters. Heck, I can remember them when they were in intermediate school. Have the years gone by so quickly? First 15 together, 2006. Okay, Rev Tan there with a, a kick which is taking a high bounce just before halfway. Here's Matt Prophet in good position. Willock on his outside to his left. Defence is pretty good. Wall Prophet there. That's not going to be called a dangerous throw. It was a tackle. Tell you what they used to call that an aeroplane spin in the old days. To ground there. High school old boys trying to get the ball. Nelson Moran there hulking up. He is huge, honestly. Hey there. Here's Brian Howard with a nice pass. Here's Cohen Loffler. He gets a good pass away. OBM, the question is being asked once more. They held them here earlier on. George Hanley Donnelly. Can OBM hold them again? High school old boys grind inexorably towards the line. High school old boys up by five, early stages. Second half. Guys are screaming for the ball in the midfield. They want it here, they want it here now. They want lots of things. Again, the big guy was that uh, Moran again. Got to go low on him. Got to bring the big guy down by the ankles. High school old boys again. Now with some urgency, ball loose. While that happened, you know, really they lost a little control there. Try here. Okay, I'm not sure if that was Kingy or not. Well, I tell you what, high school old boys now go to 24 points to 14. So a 10 point gap again. I thought that they'd lost control of the ball on the ground. I didn't think they'd lost it forward, but I thought that their body position was too high and that OBM was going to push them off the ball. So now 24 points to 14, 10 point gap. Brian Howard. They had control, then it looked for a moment as if they might turn the ball over, they regained control, and they scored. Really, that's the weight of possession. You have to come up with points when you're in, when, you know, when you have possession of the ball for that long, you've got to come up with something. They did, 24 points to 14. Remember, half-time score was 19 points to 14, five-point game. Now it's a 10-point game. 24-14, Brian Howard, this unassuming young man. Really neat young character. Loves his rugby. I might point out that nationwide, one of the most popular rugby grades we've got is the under 85 kilogram division. And he is a player that would slot nicely into that as well as a... Hey, I thought, you sure about that? Okay, fair enough. 24-14. Well, the kicker didn't complain about it, 24-14. That was Joel Pierce comparing notes there with uh, Brian Howard. Right right 24-14, right a 10-point game. It was 55-20 to 20 on Tiny White opening day, 55-20. to 20. Coast scaffolding Tafawai. 55-20, Kahu scaffolding Tapawai over Earthwork Solutions High School Old Boys and East Coast Farm Vets YMP, 49-15 over OBM. Two first half tries last week for OBM. So far... Two tries. High school old boys enjoying a purple patch here at the moment. Didn't convert that last try. But they are up by 10. Okay, guys being caught behind the uh, gain line. Nice clearer from uh, Halley Donnelly. And that there is a strong tackle. That was Lance Dixon. Lovely guy off the field, but he's a very powerful guy, Lance Dixon. If he wants to put you on the earth, he will. Xavier Kingy. 
Good play, Xavier Kingy. Penalty award from referee Pierce. Nelson Moran, the Jolly Giant. At the moment, 24 points to 14. Brian Howard there, I don't think he's found touch. That went forward off high school old boys. If, any, if that ball didn't go into touch directly, the, uh, the hand on it was a high school old boys hand. However, well placed as Aaron Brown. One of the arts of an assistant referee is to actually have enough depth on the sideline that you can see what's going on. You're too tight, you can miss something. That makes perfect sense for our assistant referees. Further are you are from the uh, action, the better you see it. Xavier Kingy will make the throw in a minute. Line out's taken a little while to get going. Really, it took too long. Ricky Tedekia has got it. Ricky Tedekia, an excellent run, excellent rugby from the OBM captain. Good stuff. Is that to set a wong up? What a powerful, what a powerful run there from us in a what a run. Okay, up uh, around about three metres short of halfway. Three short of halfway. Here's Kingy accelerates. Big guy accelerating, fighting, trying to kick his way out of a tackle, couldn't do so. OBM down the blind side now, attacking hard. This is good rugby here. So OBM still have the ball, they're on side. Ball's on the ground here, it's a ruck. Here's uh, Sinwonga again, short pass, good play, that was a Solomoni Rosari. Lost the ball forward. Oh, the referee's going to have a word here. And Tani Sinwonga, those are guys, you don't want to get in between those guys. Honestly, you don't want to get between one or the other. That's what you got the whistle for. And got Austin Brown back out there. Tell you what, see these guys, they are some big guys. No point jumping in between them and saying, excuse me, that's not appropriate. <laughs> that will mean very little. Moment 24 points to a 14. No such thing as a reflection room around here. 24 points to 14. Atunaisa Rokatuiwe with a pained expression on his face. Did you see that, Mr. Pierce? You saw it, didn't you? Don't tell me you missed it. You can't have missed it. Referee Joel Pierce. I think one of the things you really want to do here is humanise the players. Yes, they do their best. Yes, they want to win the game, but it is at this level a game. Only mind you, the Peter Martin Cup is a treasure. OBM don't want to hand that over. They trail at the moment by 10 points, but they still have the Peter Martin Cup. And until full time, whistle blows, not going anywhere. Okay, good scrum from OBM. I told you their scrum had been good. That was a Brian Howard with boot to ball. Is that Atika Cedre? Yes, it is. Very, very good defense. That Willock over there, no, uh, Willock's over here, seemingly. So OBM. Pushed off the ball. High school old boys have the ball now. Here's Moran. Looked like some huge sort of Yeti or something the way he ran away over there on the right. So ball takes a high bounce. Take a Cedre in pursuit. I now know the word I was looking for when Moran made that big run. It was a shambling run. Shambling run there from uh, the big guy Moran. 24 points to a 14. 10 point game. Got to be out there. The shadows grow long here at the Oval. Wonderful ground. Those of a certain vintage would have grown up playing junior rugby here at the Oval and at camp and at the showgrounds. Those who go back far enough. Back in the days when on Saturday mornings there was nothing but sport. No devices. 24 points to 14. Got to say in the lead up to this that the coaches, the people have been focused. It wouldn't be rugby if there weren't passions. Once or twice. 
individuals with less control might have got carried away, but these guys have been very good. 24 points to 14, a 10 point game. This penalty attempt is successful from Brian Howard, make it 27 points to 14. OBM would need to score two converted tries. They would need to score twice. 24-14, a 10 point game. Rugby of a good standard. Remember, this is only week two. You can't expect too much. 24 to 14. The ball's on its way. Okay, the shot is off. Still 24 14. And OBM with a hiss and a roar. Get over the gain line. That was Austin Brown. Good run from him. OBM again. It's a Ricky Tedekia. Over and out of Lance Dixon. Short pass. It's the caller forward pass. It's a penalty. Penalty here. Joel Pierce. Joel Pierce. Here now is uh, Austin Brown, left footer. That's a big left foot. Austin there finds a very good touch. Beautifully judged. Austin Brown with lovely touch. High school old boys at the moment. 24 points to 14, 10 point game. It has been tough rugby. It's been a hell of a lot of fun, but it's been tough. Tali Bulamai about to make the throw. Okay, OBM have it. Justin Allen has it. Anybody can kick out of a tackle, he can. OBM have it. Good refereeing there by referee Pierce. Somebody would have pressed a panic button. Ruled knock on. Not the ruling from referee Pierce. Austin Brown now. Coming back off the right foot, he's incredibly strong. <coughs> <coughs> Solomoni Rosari with a dart there a moment ago. Is there a whistle coming here from referee Pierce? OBM don't want it, OBM don't need it. They have the ball. That's a set of Wonga. Man Mountain, that he is. OBM, numbers here on the right, big numbers on the right. Here's uh, Lance Dixon caught in the tackle. They surrounded Dixon. They encircled Dixon. OBM. And down the sideline now. Were their arms used in that tackle? Referee Pierce. Well. The try is scored. So that's now 24 points to 19. 24 19. 24 19. Here's uh, Austin Brown from the near touch line. On ground number one here at the Gisborne Oval. Twenty-four points to nineteen. Twenty-four nineteen Austin Brown with the hopes and dreams of the OBM faithful resting on him. Twenty-four nineteen. The ball's in the air. Does it come back enough? No, it doesn't. Still twenty-four to nineteen. Twenty-four nineteen. And this is where kicks a goal at the other end of the park, as when Brian Howard missed that conversion of the last try, becomes so important. 24-19. 24-19. So it's a five-point game. And right now, the margins for error of both of these teams are pretty small. One forward pass. One line-out throw that's off. Restart by Profit is a very good one, very accurate, taking a high bounce. Gave his teammates a chance to get up there and contest possession. 24-19. Okay, that was a tough one. Was that Xavier Kingy? Man, he went down heavily there. Lost his ankles and his knees in the process. High school old boys. Penalty awarded. 24 points to 19. Five-point game. Twenty-four to nineteen.
I look for touch. Tell you the truth, where that penalty was awarded, that was they were very wide out on the right hand side. The other thing though is that there was no T immediately to hand. That option goes out the window anyway. 24 to 19. Jacob Hatton has had a pretty good game up front. And also on this side, Jack Willock's had a pretty good game, I think. Was here earlier wearing 11, has since been replaced. Now, I was told Corey Dayhunter would wear 22, but I know Corey, and uh, it doesn't look like him. So, high school old boys inching their way towards the line. Nose to the grindstone, shoulder to the grindstone here. Okay. Would not release the ball on the ground. Austin Brown. 24 points to 19. It's also moments like this that a player can't afford to be distracted. If you're a goal kicker for either team, oh, should I have landed this one or did I start it too wide on the right? You can't afford to worry about that. That is done. This is the here and now. Civil Project Solutions Premier Grade Rugby. Week two of the first round in 2024. Okay, that's Jordan Kingy with a spectacular take. Absolutely spectacular. Nice hands there from Austin Brown. Has the strength of a front row forward. Rock it two away. Nice hands there. OBM with some good hands. Tedek here. This tick of Cidre. Okay, bounces into Cohen Loffler. Cohen Loffler did very, very well there. Loose ball situation. It's out of play. I gotta be honest, I thought Cohen Loeffler did extremely well there. I really did. He made the tackle, got back up, tried to contest it. Young man there did really well. Youngster of uh, 18, 19 years of age, you're out there with some, you know, guys in their early 20s, and they're powerful guys, these are working men. George Halley Donnelly. George's magnificent player. Quick between the ears. Proud to play for him or Ricky Tedekia. Both brilliant leaders. That's uh, George with a good pass. Nice pick up. Ryland to Wairua Brown. Ryland to Wairua Brown getting the ground. Will the whistle be blown? OBM there, contesting possession. Man, are they disputing possession at the moment. Is that Jordan Kingy? Did he fall over? I thought he fell over inadvertently. Still 24 points to 14 at the moment. What happens here? Players are mystified, dumbfounded, waiting for the whistle to be blown. Ain't going to be blown. You've got to play to the whistle. Is that Zane Ball going forward? No, here he is here. Penalty here. Lay down the same, boy. Well, no, the ball there might have hit one of the high school old boys players on the head. Well, that, that's what happens. You can't afford to take your eye off it. Hit you right in the face. Honestly, it's, it's no good. It's Austin Brown with that boot. Man, that's a boot. That left foot of Austin Brown. And, of course, they have the throw. 24 to 14. 24 to 14. Had a couple of important... Yeah, 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 yeah. With the last try. 24-19, the try in the corner. 24-19. 24-19. Okay, is it Jordan, is it not? Well, that's uh, Joel Pierce. 24-19, they're going to allow the sub in. So that would, that would seem to be good reason to give OBM the, the throwback, I would, I would have thought. I would have thought that would be reason to give OBM the throwback again. 24-19, five-point game. Ricky Tedek here. Master forward. Throw the ball into play. Jordan at two. Sort of Wonga further back there at uh, five. Okay, but Jordan Kingy was grabbed in the air. Loose ball situation. Everybody hairs after the ball. Lost forward by high school, old, by OBM rather. One 
One word can say so much. As we all express our frustration in different ways. 24 points to 19. Peter Martin Cup held by OBM. High school old boys with the best challenge they've made for it in a very long time. Their best match effort against OBM for a very long time. From memory, it was 19 to 12 at half time, or 19 to 14 at half time from memory, yes. 19 to 14 at half time. 24 to 19 now. The big scrum pushes on. George Halley Donnelly. High school old boys, I thought they were going to clear or at least look to clear. Cohen Loffler, the lightweight, got to pass away, did well under pressure. You're going to jink, you want to do it in the opposition half. Come on, Rick. 24 points to 19, I'm sorry if we led you astray before. It's a five point game. <coughs> Twenty-four, nineteen, five points in it. Joel Pierce. This real proving ground for players. The last ten minutes, fewer than ten, but with time enough to score here, the home team on oval number one. The Peter Martin Cup is theirs at the moment. Still. High school old boys played one, lost one. He said Awanga hooks the pass, got it away to Rosari. OBM have it. OBM are going to score. Are oh, they going to score? OBM, they got there. And the ruling is a try there from referee Pierce, almost anticlimactic. I wondered whether he was going to award that or not. He was so far off the pace, Pierce. That's why. He was on the 22 line when the try was scored. Certainly OBM with a tremendous breakout. Now, scores are level. 24-24. From memory, it was 19 points to 14 at half time. So it was a five-point game at half time. OBM have fought back, and now it's 24 all. Obviously, high school old boys have to win the game to take the Peter Martin Cup. <laughs> OBM have drawn level. When the chips were down and when it was most required, Setawanga and company, Ricky Tedekia's team, has hung on and they had to dig extremely deep to draw level here. 24 all, Austin Brown, height is good on the kick, has the height, misses its away to the left, but they have drawn level for the first time since the kickoff. The teams, the scores are level. Earthwork Solutions, High School Old Boys and Enterprise Cars OBM have played extremely good rugby in this week two match. Some people were talking to me before about this being round two, it's not round anything, it's round one, it's week two, this is the first round. OBM coming off that 15 to 49 loss to East Coast Farm Vets. Young Māori Party, two-time defending champions, Jordan Kingy, the ball went backwards. And of course, Kahu Scaff Olden Tapawai, newly readmitted to the Premier grade, beating high school old boys 55 to 20 last weekend on oval ground number two. Here on Oval 1 in idyllic conditions, it's 24 all, late stages, second half. OBM lying in wait for high school old boys now like a spider. High school old boys ball in hand, Brian Howard. Numbers here, Ryland to Wairua Brown. Zane Boyle has it. Okay, was that accidental offside or not? I think that's, you know, that's fair enough by referee Pierce. Guys are only human. Brian Howard. Out to Moran, such a big guy, Colossus. Moran on the ground there, looks stunned and prone. Here's Brian Howard, ball in his hands. High school old boys, 
Is this a last gasp effort from high school old boys? Enormous match effort to win the Peter Martin Cup. More than that, for the honour. High school old boys, it's profit. Profit gets a pass away. High school old boys needed to make one last pass. They needed to make one last pass. OBM cut them down. Cut them off at the pass, if you will. 24 all. What happens here? You don't want to lose control of the ball in this situation. Got to retain possession and stay on side. Oh, it's a devilishly hard game to play. This rugby so complex. The boy, oh boy. The margins are narrow. The stakes infinite, as Churchill once said. And at the moment, okay, they lost the ball forward there. They lost the ball forward. Call there is a forward pass. 24 all. It's a scrum. OBM scrum. Remember, the first error was high school old boys losing the ball on the ground. OBM accrued neither a tactical nor territorial advantage. 24 all. There's still time to win. There's still time to lose. OBM near their own goal line. Eyes wide open or eyes wide shut, depending on your point of view. High school old boys who led from memory 19 to 14 at half time. They have had the question asked of them, do you want to hang on to this Peter Martin Cup? Would you like to keep it? Well, certainly that question's been asked and they've answered here in the second half. Heads might have hung. Heads might have dropped, but they didn't. Chins might have dropped, but they didn't. The situation to play, you've just got to remember what it is your job it is to do and use your skills. The other thing is, frankly, it would be an awful thing to lose this game or lose possession by not either putting the ball in on time or not even taking a shot at goal on time. Time is precious. The one thing you lose, you never get back. At the moment, 24 all. OBM, the last scorers, had a chance with a conversion attempt to win the game. Here now is Austin Brown with a left foot down the sideline. Austin Brown finds touch and still we play on. I think the clubs should be pretty pleased with us today. This hasn't been higgledy-piggledy rugby. These teams have played very good rugby around the traps, of course. We haven't heard much, but we hope to. East Coast Farm Vets YMP down there at uh, Barry Park. And I think Pirates from memory, they've got Tapuai at Tapuai, and that's, um, that's a big ask. OBM ball in hand. You want to play the game down the other end of the ground. This is where sometimes you've got to curb your enthusiasm. Austin Brown. <coughs> Austin to ground. OBM get to ground. They weren't tackled, that player. So he got back up and tried again. Everybody's on side at the moment. That is a little bit rough at the moment. That was a Rosari. OBM trying to bust out. Round about nine out from halfway. Got to hold on to the ball here. And maybe the conventional pass. Call there is a high tackle. It's been ruled upon by referee Pierce. Austin Brown, tough pass, take a seed right. Take a seed right. With one man outside, one inside. Tremendous tackle there. Ali Polo was the center in 13. That's Tika Cedre. Tika Cedre brought to ground. Drag down there, Tika Cedre. OBM with ball in hand. Trying hard here. Played a tremendous game too. Tufong in the 18. That was, depending on your point of view, the whistle of doom from referee Joel Pierce. Now, of course, the angle appears to be very wide, but if you bring the ball back, that angle is reduced considerably. No, it's going to be a scrum. Okay, OBM off for the scrum. The loose head scrummage and feed is theirs. Now, at the moment, 24 all. I heard the word there. Word used there was redemption. I heard it very clearly. But who's to be redeemed? I mean, high school old boys haven't had their hands on the Peter Martin Cup for a few years now. No BM have done naught but trail. Finally, they've drawn level. 
24 all. A successful kick at goal. They would have led in the game. Also, High School Old Boys would have had to restart. Okay, OBM have it. Have to leapfrog, guys. OBM, Jordan Kingy, who has played a magnificent game. He's played one of his finest games in OBM colours today, Jordan Kingy. He has been heroic today. And OBM to the last, to the line, and have been watered a try. And that really is a match-winning try. For 25-24, or rather, no, sorry, 29? Yes, 29. 29, 24. Sometimes it gets away from you, but they have got a big lead here. 29, 24. It would take incredible effort now for high school old boys to come back. They would have to, they'd have to go, well, 50 metres at least, obviously, from the restart. 29-24. Well, you say God loves a trier or everybody loves a trier. OBM for the first, well, that's their first lead in the game. 29-24. This for 31. 4-31. Austin. No, he's... Uh, He's away. Tough out. Hard to judge that. 29-24 with a try on full time. Enterprise Cars OBM have retained the Peter Martin Cup. They have shown strength of character. They have shown resilience. They had to dig very deep, come from behind win, having trailed 14-19 to at the halftime break and to take it 29-24. It took them all but about 70, 77 minutes or whatever it was to draw level. Finally, they come up with it. Ricky Tedekia, you know, they had a player get a card. And somehow they've come through it. So it's their first win of the season. First win here in week two of round one in the 2024 Civil Project Solutions Premier Rugby Grade. So it's their first win of the season. One they'll savour against traditional rivals High school old boys will be their guests at the club rooms later on. Justin Allen, a successful return to rugby for him today. And a marvellous match effort from both these teams who played good rugby under the watchful eye of Joel Pearce, Aaron Brown, Royce Maynard. They can be happy with that. Poverty Bay rugby fans and supporters can be happy with that. It was well worth watching.